the next thing that we're going to do is add an NPC to our level. So we'll bring up the root templates again. And this time we will filter our creatures. We're just going to do something like uh, look for a human male commoner. We'll add him to our level. And then we will start to adjust his properties. We'll bring up the side panel here. Now there are a lot of properties we could get into. <coughs> Again, I will just highlight um, I think some of the ones that are going to be key for most people in most situations. The display name, this is what is going to be displayed whenever you hover your mouse over the character in game as well as when you right click on them and use examine. So we're going to give this NPC the name Sven. The name down here is the name that the editor is going to use to refer to this character in places like dialogue and scripts, so this is more of an internal name. So we'll just give the name NPC Sven. Now Sven doesn't really look like what we expect here for our tutorial, so we want to change this look a little bit. We'll use the visual set indices to handcraft his visual appearance. Once you're in this window, you can use the left mouse button to rotate the preview pane. You can use the right mouse button in order to zoom in. The middle mouse button will move the plane up and down. So we'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see. Spin nice and up close. And we'll just make a couple modifications to him. We'll get rid of the beard. Uh, we'll change the hair a little bit. Give him a proper head. And that's good enough for our purposes. We'll save it. And we can see that he's changed in game. There are a few other properties I'll highlight for now. Um, under here, under tags, if you click the three dots here, this is where you can assign to, uh, tags to a character. You could also, of course, assign tags by scripting during the game under certain events, but you could also assign tags right away to a character here. Here you can see a bunch that we get just from the shared library. Uh, all these tags are defined over here. If you were to bring up the tag editor, this is where you could create new tags if you wanted to, and then you could assign them to the character. Another important uh, item that you might want to consider in NPC are the items. Under here is where you could assign all different kinds of items. If you wanted to give them a sword or something, you could type in sword and find uh, one that you want. And you can filter either by stats, root templates, or level items. Uh, since we don't have any level items, we could find all different kinds of root template items here. And you can just click on it. And you can either double click and put it over, or you could use these arrows to get rid of it. So we're not going to give them any items for now, but just wanted to show that. Another very important configuration option here are scripts. If we open this up, we'll see that this is where some of the behavioral scripts can be assigned to the character. We have default script here, and there are certain variables that um, you can modify. Another one that might be important for a lot of people are the uh, crime AI behaviors. This is where if you assign this to a character and then you attack that character uh, unprovoked, that will at least make the character uh, turn into an enemy and then try to attack you back. Otherwise, if you didn't have that crime script, you could just go over to him and start whacking him with a sword and he wouldn't do anything. So um, there's a lot to investigate here. Uh, you can either use, look at uh, origins and see the kind of scripts that um, they assign to their characters to get an idea, or you can go investigate that. Uh, could probably be a tutorial all in and of itself, so we won't spend too much time with it, but it is important to know about it when you're putting something together, otherwise you might not understand why your NPC is behaving so differently than something you saw in-game. Over here, here you could assign particular skills to your NPC if you wanted to give them a fireball uh, ability or something like that, you could add it to them. Uh, we're not going to do anything at this point, but wanted to point that out. And the other thing uh, that is important are the stats. 
if you open this up you could assign any one of the character stats that are defined um, in your campaign. All of these come from the shared library. We haven't created any of our own at this point. Um, oops, I got rid of that. So we want to do general human citizen. That's what he had, so we'll put that in there. If you want to see what any of these stats are, you can bring them up in the stats editor. If I open this and I go to the character stats under shared, then we can search for general human citizen here. And I'm actually going to highlight the row underneath it because whenever you highlight it, it's kind of hard to see. So I highlight the row underneath it, and this is the one we're going to be actually looking at. If I go down here, uh, I actually don't see much filled in. It doesn't look like there are any stats there. Why is that? Well, it's actually because this first column is very important. It says using human. This means that is it, it is already inheriting all of the stats that are defined under underscore human. So if I look at underscore human, we'll see that, well, that's also inheriting from underscore base, but it does override a few other things. Uh, it gives some strength, finesse, intelligence, some other stat modifiers there. Uh, not going to go into what all of these mean. There are other tutorials that cover that. Again, we're just going to kind of skim over it and let you know of some things that um, you'll want to investigate in order to customize how your NPC is going to behave. And if we went to, again, if none of these are filled in, then they are just inheriting from what comes from underscore base. It's only the filled in ones that are overriding what's been inherited. So if we go to underscore base, um, and then we can see what all the stats are here. And you can always create your new stats um, down here under, this is Launch Day Crisis, this is our own project, so we could create our own stats here by clicking plus, so on and forth, so forth. But for now, we're just going to keep the ones that we're inheriting from General Human. And the last thing we're going to change, th since this is Sven, and he's kind of taller, bigger than most people, we're just going to up a scale a little bit. We're going to give him a 1.5, 1. 1 0.15 rating and make him a little bigger. And you can use that uh, scaling modifier for basically any placeable object from the root templates. And that's our NPC.